Hello and welcome back to Sue Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we do have a very, very special guest with us, although they're not here physically, but they're still with us via Zoom. And our guest name is Caroline Naomi, former MTN Project Fame contestant and versatile vocalist returned in the new year with the delightful sound boss, um, Oga at the top. Caroline Ma um, Naomi, born and raised in Lagos, known as the guitar girl, picked up a guitar as a teenager with her new instrument, she wrote more songs performed on different stages, becoming a contestant on MTN Project Fame. She has shared the stage with international acts like Burner Boy, Whiskey, Demiela Day, and many, many more. So please welcome with me, Naomi. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, hey girl. Everyone. How's it going? <laughs> so I, I always get it confused when I meet people that have Good. two first names, like Naomi, Caroline. Like, so which one is your name and which one is your surname? Or did um, a stage Caroline, name? Naomi, uh, both my names. Uh, Caroline's right. my first name and Naomi is my middle name. Right, okay. Huh. I guess it's much. Anyway, welcome to yeah. Tea Time. It's good to have <laughs> yeah. you on there. So please tell Thank us, you. why are you not Thank in you Lagos? Thank you so much. That's what I want to know first. Why am I not what? In Lagos. Oh, um, I just relocated. <laughs> I mean, I, I left Lagos yeah. in um, 2014. Yeah, right. so um, I've been living in the U.S. since uh, 2014, yeah. Okay, and how's that been for your music then? Are you now, yeah. like, pushing it over there, or you're trying to do both while you're in the States? Um, yeah, so when I first came here, I um, attended a music college, and so um, right after that, I was able to network with a few musicians in the... Um, in the Twin Cities here, because Minneapolis and um, um, St. Paul are two cities here in Minnesota that are re regarded as the Twin Cities. And so um, I was able to connect with a few musicians. And since then, I have been working on my music, um, also working even part-time as well, too, but mostly um, pushing and trying to um, connect with a new audience here in, in the U.S., which is sort of different but then there's also a nigerian community here so it, it it's been really good so far mm -hmm. all yeah. right so you're popularly referred to as the guitar girl tell me um it's rare to see a lot of nigerian <laughs> artists playing the instrument so playing the instrument has that right. helped your music in any mm -hmm. way does it help you with songwriting you know when you can actually do things yourself without having to go to the studio and having a producer around Yes, it does. It helps. And um, for me, I picked the guitar when I was in my undergrad uh, program at Lagos State University. Um, shout out to Lasso. <laughs> and um, at the time that I picked up the guitar, um, there was ASU strike. So I didn't have anything to do because we had the strike for almost eight months. And so it was terrible. And I just thought, OK, you know what? I had to do something with myself. And I picked the guitar. Um, prior to the guitar, I was already playing the piano just a bit. And so when I picked the guitar, that was like the focus. Mm. And so I realized that it helped um, move my music um, knowledge to a different level. It helped me with songwriting and helped me get comfortable singing in front of other people and finding my voice as an artist. So, yes, I would say that it actually really helps. So what, are some, of the, instrument. what are some of the benefits of being in a reality show like um, Project Fame, mm. you know, for you? Yeah, um, it was it was a huge platform for me, um, especially um, with me being um, an artist or a person, a human being who is very shy and an introvert. And so being on a stage or a platform like that was a huge deal for me. And um, at the time that I went in for it, I had I was skeptical. I wasn't even sure I was going to make it all the way. And then when mm. I did and realized that I was among the top 15 who were going to make it to the house, mm. it was it was a huge deal, you know. And so when we got in with the likes of Yaya and Bisola and me and every other person, um, it felt like, you know, a different environment, obviously, because we didn't have our phones, we didn't have TV, nothing. We were in the house. But I was able to build a certain friendship with the people in the house. Right. And by the time we got out, we realized how big that platform was because season one is the um, season that I was in. And at the time that we um, were in it or got involved in it, um, there wasn't any Project Fame West Africa at that time. There was Project Fame in South Africa, I believe, and in the UK, but not in West Africa. So ours was a maiden edition. And so it was... Um, 
when we got out of the house, that's when we realized that, okay, this is something really huge. And a lot of people recognized us just on the streets, walking around and all that. And yeah, I thought that it was really cool being there. All right. I mean, Caroline, I, I, I could yeah. tell even from the way you're very soft-spoken that you're, you know, quite reserved and not as mm. out there or whatever. <laughs> but which is very interesting when it comes to like being an artist, because I know a flip side to being an artist also involves like show business and just really being out there. But um, I want to even talk about right. your music. Do you think that that has any impact with how your sound is? I mean, some people are watching now, never heard your song, mm. which we will still play for a while. But mm -hmm. while we're having this conversation, mm -hmm. do you think that your character, your, your type of personality um, has an impact on your mm -hmm. sound? Um, I think so. But another reason why I probably sound really quiet and calm is because there's a huge time difference between you and I. It's mm -hmm. about 5 a.m. here. Oh, <laughs> and so wow. I'm technically sleepy. Oh. Yes, partially asleep, but I mean, um, other than that, yes, my personality being a laid back person um, is, it comes to play. The thing is, you can never be anybody but yourself. And that's one thing that I've um, come to realize and understand. And so I always try to be genuine in the way I portray my music. So I wouldn't come across to someone as someone who is totally different, maybe like a Tiwa Savage or another artist. I'm just, you know, myself, Caroline. And I think that you can see that reflected in my sound and in my style and even in the message and my music as well too. Nice. All right. So what's the plan for 2021? What should we be expecting from Caroline? Because we know, you know, you have oh. stuff up your sleeve. <laughs> yeah, 2021 has a lot to offer. Um, I'm thankful that I was able to start the year with um, the new video that we released, which is, this, um, you had a clip of it, that's Boss Oga at the top. Um, we have a collaboration coming up. And when I say we, I'm talking about myself and um, Tolu, who was in Project Film West Africa season three. He's also here in the U.S. He's in Dallas, Texas. Shout out to Tolu. Tolu mm. is the music producer behind the song that you're going to hear very soon. And he and I have been working um, together. Prior to the pandemic, I was able to travel to Dallas, Texas to record with him. And um, we've been slowly and gradually releasing music um, over, over time. And so for 2021, we have plans to release new videos and also to release um, one collaboration. We had one collaboration last year, but there's no video for that yet. But this year we have another collaboration that's coming out. And eventually by the, um, I think the third or the last quarter of the year, I intend to release um, an EP of about five, six songs. Um, so I hope you guys would um, expect that coming out soon. All right. Yeah. So has being in America affected your, you know, popularity, distribution and, um, you know, people getting to know about your music? Has it affected that in any way or you're doing just fine? Um, yeah, well, I'm doing fine in the sense that this is a new environment. So I'm learning to um, to adapt to the environment, um, especially being in Minnesota. It is extremely cold here um, for more than i think it starts um, winter starts sometime around october november and even though right now technically it's supposed to be spring it's still kind of cold and so um when it comes to shows and events um it's kind of limited sometimes to mostly summer I, and I, that's when it gets it gets warm sometime in may june july right. you know so at that time so th there's a difference in um the climate condition but right. there's also the fact that you have to adapt right, to a new Karen, environment because we're entirely. running out of time well. yeah. and mm -hmm. we still need to play your song okay. just really quickly what's Oga Boss about before we let the viewers sure. enjoy it for themselves okay so Boss Oga at the top basically was just a song that I, I just sat down one day and was talking about um, you know the sovereignty of God of the person who is at the top you know when mm. we say Oga at the top it's a Nigerian right. expression that means the boss the one who calls the shots right, right. yeah so that song basically just talks about that picture of someone who is in control and who um, says and makes promises and they keep them because they are in charge basically Alrighty. and so i've had a lot of people who have responded to the song differently as well so yeah mm -hmm. thank All you right. so thank much, you so much for joining us. Naomi.